Three people face federal charges for smuggling and dealing drugs in the Wabash Valley. A federal authorities announced the charges at a press conference this morning. News 10's Joe Ostrowski joins us live in the newsroom with more. Joe, what can you tell us? Well, Mark Patrice, there were two separate, uh, two separate indictments involved here, but authorities say they both had the same goal, which is reducing the flow of drugs into Vigo County. The first indictment was against a Putnam County man named Randy Sawyer, also known as Saw Dog, and as a Terre Haute woman named Patricia Walters. Prosecutors say the two distributed meth around Terre Haute starting in June of 2011. Both face charges of distributing meth, and Mr. Sawyer also faces two counts of possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. The other indictment, which came down yesterday, is against a Chicago man named Choice Tools. Mr. Tools is charged with two counts of distributing cocaine in Terre Haute. He's also charged with possessing cocaine and marijuana. Federal prosecutors say the arrests are both the work of several groups led by the Vigo County Drug Task Force. We don't care whether you're from Putnam County, whether you're from Chicago, Illinois, which is where the uh, two defendants in this case, uh, these cases happen to be from. Uh, if you are bringing methamphetamine or cocaine or any other illegal narcotic into the Wabash Valley, into Terre Haute, into Vigo County, uh, the Vigo County Drug Task Force is waiting on you. If convicted, authorities say both Walters and Sawyer could face life sentences. They also say Mr. Choice, if convicted, Mr. Tools, rather, if convicted, could face up to 40 years in prison and $5 million in fines. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Joe Ostrowski. Mark, back to you. Thank you, Joe.